Hi, I'm Philip, and this is a quick 10-minute tutorial on the command line. So uh, when you first open up a program called a terminal or a command line or a shell, you'll usually see some kind of thing like a dollar sign and then a cursor. And what you can now do is you can just type in anything you want, and when you press enter, the uh, operating system will try to run your command, and then it'll bring you back to the shell uh, with that dollar sign, and then you can run uh, something else afterward. So the first command that uh, we want to run is, first let's erase everything. The first command we want to run is called ls. ls stands for list all files. When I press enter, I get a list of all the files that are in my current directory. So every file has a different name, and notice how the names do not have spaces in them. Um, it's usually a good idea not to have spaces and names uh, for now. So every name has some kind of different things. It might have dots in it, it might have dashes in it, it might have other weird characters, but no spaces. Um, to the, as far as the operating system is concerned, it doesn't actually matter what you name things. They're just names. So these are all the files that are currently in my directory, my current directory right now. To look at some more details, we're going to use ls space dash l. So how to read this is that every command you type on the shell, on this dollar sign thing, the first uh, word is the name of the command or the program. So ls is the name of the command we want to run. And everything else afterwards, separated by spaces, are options you want to pass into that program. So in, that case, in this case, dash l is an option we want to pass into ls. So the ls program knows how to interpret what dash l means. And it turns out that dash l means uh, list some details. So when I type in ls-l and I press enter, I see a more detailed view. I see, again, all my same file names, but I also see some other information like the date it was last modified, and also the size of the file in bytes. So this is several hundred bytes big. This is 66 bytes. This is small. These are really big. These are hundreds of megabytes or a gigabyte. So if you actually see, you can actually see how big each file is uh, by eyeballing it. There's also a bunch of things on the left side that are called permission bits that show you who has permission to read or write to these files. And for now, the one uh, bit that's actually interesting to us is that there's a D right here. Notice that this has a D character on it. It means that this file is actually not a regular file. This one right here, uh, Python 2.7.8. This is actually not a regular file. This is a special kind of file called a directory. And a directory is something that can contain other files. So in order to look at what's in this directory, we're going to use a command called cd. So cd means change directory. So when I say cd space, and then I'm going to type in the name of the directory, python-2.7.8. When I do that and I press enter, Remember, again, cd is the name of the command, and this is an option or an argument you pass into the command. So cd knows how to interpret whatever you just said. And what the cd command does is that it changes our current directory to go into the Python 2.7.8 directory. So when I press Enter, I'm actually in that directory now. And one indicator is this thing right here. So the first indicator I have is this tilde. Tilde means my home directory, which I'll talk about in a minute. And now it says tilde slash python-2.7.8. So this uh, this is my shell telling me that I am currently now in python-2.7.8. And not all shells will tell you this. Um, you can customize yours to actually do that. So in order to find out what directory I'm in, let's say my shell doesn't actually tell me what directory I'm in. I use the pwd command. pwd stands for present working directory, and you just press enter. And when you press enter, you notice how my current directory actually is slash home slash philip slash python 2.7.8. But actually up here it looks like it's only a tilde to python 2.7.8. So this tilde character, this squiggly character, um, what this stands for is this is a shortcut for the home directory. So every user on the computer has their own home directory. It's, it's um, where they, they start off when they open their shell. So in my case, my home directory is actually located at slash home slash philip right here. So tilde slash python278 is actually slash home slash philip python2.7.8. So if you actually ever want to go back to your home directory, um, you can just do cd and press enter. 
If you CD with no uh, with no options, it will actually bring you back to your home directory. And notice how there is now um, the tilde. I'm back here. And uh, in order to confirm it, I can just press. Uh, I can just type the pwd command. So when I type pwd, the current directory says I'm in is actually slash home slash Philip, um, which is my home directory. Um, again, I'm going to cd into the Python directory. So cd space python dash 2.7.8 and then pwd and notice how I'm now in uh, home Philip 2.7.8 and then home Philip. So it's actually really important whatever command you're running it's really important to know what directory you're currently in because that will um, that will actually limit what kind of files you can access. So what if we want to navigate to other directories? So um, recall that CD just simply brings you back to your home wherever you are. So let's go CD into the Python-2.7.8 again. And then we're going to do ls. Remember, ls lists all the files. So now we have a bunch of more files in here. Um, again, this doesn't really matter what their names are. They're just a bunch of files. Well, when you do ls space dash l, that shows us all the details. So let's look at which ones are actually directories. Notice how there's a lot of these here. A lot of these things are actually directories themselves that we can CD into to see what's going on. So let's actually CD into one of them called uh, objects. So objects is a directory you can CD into. So let's do CD space objects with a capital O. So everything is case sensitive. Objects. When I press enter, notice that now my shell displays that I'm in tilde, which is my home, slash python2.7.8 slash objects. So all the directory uh, parts of the directory are separated with a with, uh, single slash. Again, if I just to confirm where I am, I'm going to type pwd again and press enter. And now I'm in slash home slash philip slash python278 slash objects. So uh, again, I can ls to see what files are here. There's a bunch of files, um, mostly they end with dot c in them. But again, the operating system doesn't care what the, the files in it, they're just files. So what if I want to go up one directory? So then what I can do is I can do cd space dot dot. So dot dot is actually a special, um, a special name for go up one directory. Give me the directory above mine right now. So when I cd space uh, dot dot, then I actually am back in python 2.7.8 and I can cd dot dot again and I can uh, look at I'm in home Philip, and nothing prevents me from going up more. So I cd space dot dot again, and now I'm actually when I do PD, I'm in sl uh, slash home. So what is in slash home? I do ls. There's only one thing in slash home right now, which is just Philip, which is the thing that, which is my home directory because there's only one user on this computer right now, and I can even go up more. Let's go up again. Cd dot dot. Now I'm um, in slash. So if I do pwd, slash is the root directory. It's the highest you can go. So if I do cd space dot dot again, I can't go anymore. I can try all I want, but this is the most I can go. So when I ls in here, this actually shows me all of the uh, files or directories at the top of my uh, file system. So there's actually most of these are actually directories that again I can cd into and 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 look into things. Um, uh, if I get, ever get confused, just type cd, enter by itself, and now pwd, I'm home. I'm in my home directory, and I ls, and I see all my files. So this is a very quick overview of how to get around and navigate um, on your file system.